Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a B&M shop with me because I was driving past B&M and I remembered I had a pound coin in my car, which means I can get a trolley. Take a look at the indoor plants for a second. These peace lilies, unkillable. I like to buy the ones that look like this that are usually on sale, but not today uh, because a bit of water, a bit of water. There's no peace lilies that I've ever bought that I can't bring back from the brink. Um, but there are some £2.50, look at these. If you're prepared to wait a little, there are some pretty good indoor plants. Oh, that's a nice one. But I need um, a nice indoor pot i'm hoping to find something like that today if you missed the um i'll just admit this doesn't look quite as nice as the one i got from bnm but if you missed the bnm garden set 350 pounds not too shabby very very similar as well it's got some other stuff too um but this one particularly i think is a really good deal i wasn't going to do the food section today but i did see this and had to show you marshmallow toasting kit it's basically marshmallows with some like wooden sticks but that's a pretty cute idea for summer. The shelving options haven't really changed since the last time we came. Uh, not a lot of different homeware stuff, but I haven't seen this one. That's quite cute. Six pound for a little, that's a nice one for a bathroom or something. Um, this is nice as well. Hmm. Uh, but not a lot of like extra or new stuff in this department. So I think we're gonna move on these bath mats are a little bit unusual i don't think i've seen one like that before um most of my bath mats if not all of my bath mats oh i like that one that's really cool semicircle one with some fringe um most of my bath mats if not all came from here because they're really inexpensive but so soft look at that one. Oh. so i'm looking specifically for some different bathroom storage and i was tempted by this which is pretty plain but i just really really don't like the thing that we've got in there at the moment it's not really fit for purpose storage um it's like a, a repurposed old bedside table thing anyway what i'd really like is to get one of these under sink units um but i'm not convinced they're gonna fit with the sink oh look at this one oh i'm i really I mean, I can always bring it back, can't I? But I'm just not sure whether or not I'd have to build the whole thing before I knew that it didn't fit. These are quite nice. This, like, black and wooden theme for all. Retractable. Uh, for all of the mops and brushes and stuff. I quite like that. That theme. Loads of different options. Do you remember when, you know, mops were just mops? Now they're, like, pieces of style in your home. I looked at this the other day. Um, in fact, I think I might have mentioned it in the previous vlog and um, said, mm, you know, I'm not sure whether or not we would really use it. And a load of you said you need to go back and get it. I have been thinking about it. I just don't know whether or not it's really worth it. These are a really good price, this one included. But I have to mention this because I bought some. I think it was almost exactly like this um, from B&M. And it was the worst bedding of my life. Like it caught, it doesn't feel like this is, no it is i'm like feeling on like the sides of my fingers it will catch on every tiny little i've just noticed this situation wash your hands properly after you've used gradual tanner friends as i was saying this catches on everything even like jewelry and stuff it was absolutely infuriating really really irritating but inexpensive inexpensive oh i like that one i like that one a lot this one too i'm not learning my lesson at all i actually went into um Matalan, not so long ago. Oh, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. It wasn't that one. It was this one. It was this. Woof. Oh, yeah. That, like, I can just feel it. I can feel it. It catches. If your nails aren't 100% smooth, um, it catches constantly. It's this one. I take it all back. Um, so this one reminds me. This and this, actually a lot of these, remind me of some that I saw in Matalan that were considerably more expensive. Considerably. If you are looking for some um, inexpensive bedding, this is where it's at, but don't get that one. That one's probably fine. Don't get that one. This is nice. I'd like a new throw for the bed. I've been doing something crazy and making my bed. I know, I know. 
nobody ever thought it was going to happen um but i've been making it with a throw that is far too small because we got a larger bed last year maybe if i don't think 160 centimeters is actually big enough maybe a new throw would be nice i quite like these curtain panels as well i'm really into this like tufted design stuff this one look how nice that looks some of these are new since we came last i think um i mean not that gold one that gold one I actually have in my living room I have had for a while but i'm the blue one i think i've got as well i'm a big fan these are really really inexpensive oh that little marble one's nice really inexpensive side tables and they're all really easy to build and put together right i think that that throw that we saw might have been in the wrong section oh i love this i love it um might have been in the wrong section um because there was just one of them so maybe this is the right oh it says up there soft furnishings throws cushions maybe i'll find more options down here not really the throws that i'm looking for these are more like just blankets really i'm still not big enough like this i really like this but 200 centimeters i think 200 centimeters is like how wide a king size bed is so i need it bigger than that i'm gonna have to look online take a look at the uh, fake indoor plants for those of you who don't feel like keeping plants alive that's quite a nice one it's quite a nice one also off the corner of my eye i thought i saw a person it was a rug not a person oh i think they've had this for a while haven't seen this one down there before i just think blush just as a trend is ever going to go away i'm i'm still into it but it feels like it's not i'm also looking for oh this is nice i'm also looking for um a lamp for the living room oh i love this i love this i think i've seen this multiple times and keep not buying it i regret it every single time and i'm probably not going to buy it today and i'm probably going to regret that um i'm looking for a light for the living room to replace the one that i bought that is too bright really um so maybe in the next aisle seems to be a winner so i'm looking you know that little rattan one would kind of work i don't know how big a lamp i really want it to be oh, that's cute this is nice. How much is this one? 15 pounds, that's not bad. And that's kind of like just a bit of a glow, which is pretty much exactly what we want. I moved some boxes out of the way so we could look at the other ones. This is this one, which looks really nice as well, 18 pounds. And this one I don't like as much. Oh, it's upside down, that's why. It's actually probably the one that we saw. It is, it's the one that we saw over there and I'm an idiot. I'm leaning towards this one or this one that industrial one up there is really nice too though i didn't see that love all of the woodeny stuff this is a trend i'm happy has not gone away yet uh look at these my friends just bought a load of uh gold cutlery from an auction site and it was um from made.com originally and that really reminds me of the stuff that they got although it was all gold and that's got a black handle um need some tea towels our tea towels oh they've got a black version of the glasses that i love but they break so easily um our tea towels i don't know where they've all gone no idea but we need more i used to get nice tea towels and now because they keep disappearing i don't want to spend too much money on tea towels i like this i wish they had this in like not this color i think i'm probably gonna get these ones oh these ones these are the same basically i like this We'll have a little look around the garden section. I'm not going to the garden centre today because I've already bought too much stuff and that is where I spend all the money in the garden centre. So I'm looking for plant pots. That's quite a nice one. Do you know, I don't know if I love the grey. I wish it was more of a like beigey colour, but I'm guessing that that's not too expensive because it's going to be plastic. I can't see a prize anywhere, but I can't imagine it's massively massively expensive it's not huge but it's pretty decent imitation concrete this is also quite nice so these things like you know you've seen these before they're obviously plastic i think this is a nice alternative it's still super plain but there's something a little bit different about it another good um garden deal 350 for these and they're like proper dining table sets as well right into the proper garden section now Every time I see this, this has been... Oh, I thought it was like stone. It's plastic. It really does look like stone. 
Um, four pounds now. This has been around for a while. Every time I see it, I think, mm, shall I buy this? They've got some really nice solar stuff. I don't totally understand this. So you put like another pot inside it, right? I don't totally understand that. Um, lots of dining stuff. This is a nice platter. It's six pounds. I feel like if you put that in the normal section, it'd be more than six pounds. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. These are cute. Little, little, what are they called? Pinch bowls. That I really, really like. Is this an outdoor mirror? Or are they just like, put it outdoors, it'll be fine. I think it's probably the latter. Obviously love all of the rope and the blues and whites. Anything vaguely coastal. Oh, I saw these the last time I was here as well. These are gorgeous for plastic glasses. So nice. They've got the wine glasses and then the champagne flutes as well. Four pack. Four pack for six pounds. Not bad. Not bad at all because plastic glasses can be a little bit naff sometimes, but also quite expensive. Um, and then they've got the black and white themed section. That is a really good deal. And I mean, you could put that in the house as well. Generally, just plant stands in general are quite expensive. So that is a particularly good deal. This, my friend Karen um, said the other day they had some good outdoor rugs for a good price. That's not bad. Although outdoor rugs are becoming cheaper and cheaper. And then lastly, the fun. Ooh, I say the fun colourful stuff, but also magnetic screen door. This is something I am interested in. We get so many flies in the summertime. I don't know what the deal is with this, how it works, but, oh, I see. I might get one of those. They've also got some clearance stuff, which is also very exciting, always. I like this little yellow pot, actually, quite a lot. I didn't go crazy, but this was a big purchase. So I decided to come outside after all. I'm looking for a planter for the big palm in the living room. Do you think, I mean, it's got no hole in the bottom, which is what I want, because it's an indoor thing. Do we think this could be an indoor planter with a palm in it? But also, this is 549. What about this? And maybe like some stones or something inside it? Turned a corner and there are some other options. What about this one? I don't know about that one. I quite like the pattern, but... Ooh, there's some metal ones over there I really like. Oh, but they'll have holes in them. I am also gonna need uh, some compost. I was gonna say concrete, what's wrong with me? I need some compost to fill the pot. Manny is checking out my uh, B&M purchases. This is the palm in question. I never repot it. I got it from Asda last year. Maybe the year before, actually, it was 20 quid, which is pretty good because it was not very much smaller than this when I um, bought it. And it's never grown, obviously, because I left it in the pot that it came in and just threw it in this and thought eventually I'll buy a pot. And I never did. So this is going to be a substantial upgrade and I'm hoping it will blossom. Not actually, but, you know, get big. Hey, Manny. He's been hanging on to that ginger biscuit all day. Unless he thinks someone might take it from him, which I would never. And this. I'm very excited about this. I'm prepared to be disappointed, but I'm very, very hopeful. I also bought the screen, which I'm going to put up. Oh, oh it's like really, really white. Mm, we'll see. I'm going to put that up at those doors there. Um, I got this lamp and this. Plus, I also got these because how bougie is this? They were on offer. They were like 50p each. And I thought, yes, I shall have some of these. And lastly is this. Every time I go into b and I think I'm going to buy some of those stepping stones because our entire patio area, practically, the bit that we actually sit on, is gravel. We do need to buy some more gravel. We said we'll come buy another few bags to kind of top it up this year. Um, but I'm going to dig these into the gravel because when you've got no shoes on, which often I don't, getting to the sofa area or a seat, not so comfortable. Also, since we got this, um, this is just a mess, but since we got um, this Aldi, so far, uh, we haven't kind of rearranged everything properly. So I need to also dig in the, I say dig in, but like bury in the stones, uh, the hose for the fire pit as well. So our garden needs a bit of a tidy, but that is it. That's my haul. That's the shop with me. I would probably have shown you by now in a vlog, um, in the actual building mirror things and all that jazz. So if you're interested, also I bought this olive tree the other day, 30 pounds from 
Marks and Marks and Spencer. Feels like Marks and Spencer, not Marks and Spencer. Morrison's really, really good deal. Um, so if you were interested, make sure you follow my vlog channel, which I'll link below, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.